subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical depression Ambo, named by the Philippines, remains a tropical depression still waiting for tropical storm status. But the JTWC are now on board, they've labelled it 1W, the JMA still yet to name it the international name, which would be Von Fong. At 9am Manila time this morning, May 12th, it remained a tropical depression with 35 mile an hour winds, that's 60 kilometers per hour, pressure of 1004 millibars, moving north-northwest at 10 kilometers per hour. Back to a stage five on the CDPS scale, so it's fluctuating a little bit right now. We're more concerned now today about rainfall potential, and of course we could still see a category three landfall in somewhere around Catanduanes or the Bicol region. But here it is right now, uh, currently at 10 degrees north, 129.3 degrees east. Stage 5 on the CDPS where we could see rainfall amounts in the 400s in millimetres in some areas where the storm tracks. It's currently 303 miles from Taklaban, 324 from Davao, 366 from Cebu, 479 from Naga and 638 from Manila. Still no warnings are in effect from Pagasa. And there you can see their cone on the top left hand side. Currently the sustained winds there, that's how they stack up against each other, JTWC, Pegasa and Force 13, all around the 30 to 35 mile an hour range. Here's Force 13's latest cone. Uh, you can see there how it develops into a tropical storm, then it really takes a sharp turn towards the west, becomes a significant typhoon, possibly a category three landfall as I said, and then weakening as it uh, moves over the rest of Luzon. Really the intensity of this storm is going to be decided almost entirely by how much land interaction will occur from this storm. So if it stays further out at sea this system could get very strong but if it does strike some of the islands it will take a lot of that intensity away but of course that wouldn't be good news for those on the eastern side of the islands. Well there it is right now, uh, the uh, forecast, sorry, the GFS, uh, the energy of the storm plowing through the uh, northern part of the Philippines there, those red colours, not many of them were left after this storm had exited Luzon, which will probably be a mid to weak uh, tropical storm by then. It will pick up a little bit more intensity as it heads up towards the northeast, but of course it is only May, so it won't last very long as it enters the subtropical zones. Also on the left hand side there you can see that Bay of Bengal storm which could become significant in the next week. Sea surface temperatures remain very warm in the vicinity of this system, around 85 degrees Fahrenheit as you can see there, that's nearly 30 degrees Celsius. And you can see here the wind uh, forecast over the next few days. Greens there, that's tropical storm conditions. The yellows, that's typhoon conditions there, moving through many parts of eastern Luzon. And then a much more disorganized system after that could re-become a typhoon as it moves towards the northeast. But again, the intensity of this storm is very dependent on the actual track. Latest intensity estimates, GFS there wanting it to be borderline category two. JTWC on their first forecast, they're calling for a minimal typhoon at 75 miles per hour. What is still in this system's favor? Wind shear extremely low, sea surface temperatures rather high, relative humidity decent. Uh, so again, it's the track that's going to be the main influencer on the intensity of this system. So looking at satellite imagery in the last few hours, I have to say it's been looking pretty damn good. I've seen uh, many tropical storms look worse than this, but at the moment still a tropical depression. We don't have the evidence that it's a tropical storm yet. ASCAT will be passing over the system in a few hours, so hopefully they'll get a pass over this system and we'll be able to get a satellite indication of just how strong those winds are inside this. But massive flare-ups of convection alone will probably be enough to call it a tropical storm if it keeps going like this for a few more hours. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.